Well, Danny, our inspired run of form continues, albeit in pre-season. What do you make of today's win against West Brom Shelby? First and foremost, it was a fantastic, fantastic game of football. Um, I thought both sides played it, played it in true, true spirit. Um, and I think, I think we were absolutely outstanding at certain moments of the game. Um, you know, I think we thoroughly deserved the win. And fair play to the lads, they've, they've put a, a real good shift in. They've worked, worked hard in possession, out of possession, which you have to do. Um, you know, couldn't, couldn't be happier really. They named four trialists in your starting eleven tonight, three of whom were part of your back line. Will that indicate where you are looking to, to strengthen the most? Yeah, yeah, we haven't got as much cover in those areas, so you know we we do need that because there will be there will be little knocks, little injuries during the season, potentially suspensions. So we do need that cover. So that is a priority. So hence why we're we're looking at those players. Now the game was sparking to life with a phenomenal save from Marcelo Pitaluga, but it certainly wasn't all one way, was it? No, it certainly wasn't. I mean, we we had some fantastic moments going forward. We really did. You know, we could, we could have had a few more goals. Um, wasn't to be, but you know we, we took the goals well that we did create, and um, you know it was very pleasing to see. And when we did make the breakthrough, it's a great cross and a perfectly executed glancing header from a trialist to give us the lead. Yeah, it was. It was. You know, you make the movement. Um, it was kind of a little bit of a double movement, and then gone in behind free header, but you still got to put it in, um, and, and it, he, he did. So you struggled nice not to, to name him there, haven't you? <laughs> I did. Yeah, to be fair, I did. Um, now, our second strike had an element of fortune in it, of course, but in your opinion, was it deserved? Of course it was, yeah. There was a, a, a great piece of play um, before that, that that warranted a goal. We didn't get it, but uh, it just goes to show you, you work hard, you, you'll get your just rewards. And, and Andy did, really. He'd, he'd come on and he, he had a real effect. He was getting about, he was putting himself about, winning his, his first and second balls and just causing a problem for their, their defenders, really, um, which is what he does. Now, there are a number of players, obviously, who stood out tonight. Jelani, Trey Pemberton, for example. But who impressed you most tonight? Yeah, those two Those two were up there for sure. They put in some fantastic um, defensive displays in the first half, especially. Um, and then Jelani really grew into the game um, and, and just goes to show, you know, like we say all the time, if you're good enough, you're old enough. And that, that is the case for him. He really did grow into the game and he showed his quality. Um, going forward as well and same with Trey he's not he's not played played many minutes so for him to get the full 90 is, is you know it's so so important he'll be stiff tomorrow no doubt but his, his quality in the final third was very very good as well and obviously Marcelo he put in a, a good good solid performance commanding his, his box um, and made some fantastic saves that's something which we saw in the Bundes tonight how he commanded his area not just with the saves but yeah. the distance he was getting on his punches and what have you that must give you quite a great deal of optimism going forward yeah definitely because you know after the game after the game on Saturday against Mork and me, me and the goal, goalkeeper coach Dom we, we spoke about that and we, we, we highlighted that in terms of commanding his box being on the front foot coming out for crosses and, and punching or catching if he can so that was something we were going to be working on this week and it was just fantastic to see that you know, he has got that in his locker and, you know, maybe it just, it will take him a few more games to settle down and get used to this new environment and the, the players around him. So, you know, based on that, hopefully he kicks on and, and keeps progressing. So just taking a step back for the moment, um, how would you assess the squad, bearing in mind we're pretty much on halfway through the pre-season programme? Yeah, I think we're, we're right on track, really, from what we planned before. It was a case of, you know, starting, starting slow and building up. Um, with the players and getting certain minutes in certain players and, and we've done that tonight a lot of players got got minutes in the legs that they didn't get in previous games so it was, it was good for them and it's good for the other lads to get a little bit of a rest the ones who didn't play it was a, a few that didn't feature tonight so you know we've got to look after players as well because at the end of the day it is only pre-season and we're building towards the start of august we don't want to burn players out and they pick up little niggles and little knocks because once you start getting that um, it does it does become difficult because you're leaving more players out and you want to protect them. So from that point of view, yeah. You've always said that pre-season results don't matter, but winning's a good habit to be in, isn't it? It is, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, you go into the game and you want to win, but at the end of the day, it's about protecting the players to a certain degree. We don't want to pick up injuries. That is a big, big thing because as soon as you you know get a few injuries, it, uh, it does hinder the squad because then before you know it, you're a little bit light in certain areas. So you're relying on players more than you, you'd like to. So it's just about getting through, building up and keeping that momentum going.
obviously we're building up to the start of the new season which I think will start on the 13th of August. The fixtures are due to be released on Thursday. Does that clarity in any way affect your preparations or is it just teams on the list? It's just teams on the list really. I mean you'll look at it and you'll make make plans for the first month because you want to hit that first month hard and, and get the points on the board. Um, I think that's important, it really is. Um, it'll just be good to get, get on the grass on, on Thursday. It seems like we haven't trained for ages. Um, had two games, we need to get some work into the lads and you know get them uh, working on our principles and, and how we play, getting ready for, for the next game. The next game, of course, on Saturday against Buxton, promoted to the Conference North at the end of last season. They will certainly be no pushovers, will they? They won't be, no. They won't be, but I'm, I'm very confident with the group we've got. Whoever we put on the pitch will, will give us a, a really, really good performance. Um, whoever that is, that is for sure. And we're, we're a test for, for most teams, really, as, as we proved tonight. I mean, that was a good, solid uh, West Brom team, mainly youngsters under 23s, but they're... Their under 23s are very, very good. Don't don't make no bones about that. So it was a good, good test for our lads, and we we will match any any team out there. Thanks, mate. Thank you.